I have all of my layers in place, 1 through 16, and now I'm going to test this out to see how it looks in animation format. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say window animation, okay, and it brings up this panel here at the bottom. And now I can make an animation out of my layers. And to do that, I'll just go right here to the submenu and I'll select the submenu and I'll say make frames from layers. So I'll do that and it gives me 16 frames and then I can play these to see the animation. And you can see that the animation looks pretty good as it's playing, but there's actually a little hiccup in the motion. And you can slow down your animation too if you want to slow it down. It's moving a little fast. All right, let's see if we can pause this, stop it. All right, stop. And then it's even got some other uh, capabilities here, which is pretty cool. Um, other play one time you could loop it however you want to do it I've got mine set to loop forever so when you play it you can it'll just keep playing so it just loops through all the layers now okay what I might want to do is slow down this animation so I'm gonna go to 0.1 seconds instead and what you might want to do is take all of your frames to 0.1 seconds. So I'm doing that. I'll take each one of these to 0.1 seconds to slow it down a little bit. See if that works. So you can kind of adjust the timing of each frame. There's probably a way to do it all just at one shot, but Okay, point one, point one, point one. Okay, and now I'll hit play. And you can see that by slowing it down to point one second, we can see the animation a little bit better. And what we see is that there's a little hiccup in the animation that's happening. And so I'm going to see if I can fix that hiccup that's in the animation. Okay, I'll stop and I want to switch this view window back to the layers so I can okay I can see the layers here and I found the hiccup and I'll see if you guys can understand this hiccup the hiccup is caused by the fact that when and this happens oftentimes in animation we go from the last frame in our animation in this case layer 16 our top layer it's gonna go and loop back to frame 1 which is layer 1 so I'm going to turn the eyeball on on layer 1 and I've got the eyeball on layer 16 and in this motion hold on watch this I'm gonna go from I'll start at 14 here 14 15 16 so you see the arm is moving forward here so the motion is is working that this arm notice this arm is supposed to be moving forward so when it goes to frame 1 okay when we jump from the eyeball goes from 16 to 1 the arm should continue moving forward but when we do that we see that it actually goes backwards so layer 1 turns out is not a very good starting point to make a looping animation the best one to do would actually be layer 3 so notice this if I turn on the eyeball on layer 3 I've got the eyeball on now on layer 16 watch what happens when we jump from 16 to 3 so 16 and 3 notice the arm goes forward so that's the correct starting point which would be layer 3 so in our animation what we need to do is we need to get rid of frames 1 and 2 or essentially get rid of layers 1 and 2 and I think our animation will look a lot better okay so I didn't like what was happening with my animation so I went back to the starting point by selecting delete animation so now I'm back and I'm going to try this animation one more time I've got 16 layers I think that layers 1 and 2 are not going to go well for the animation so I am going to file save this as file 
save as and I'll call this version 4 so once again I have a new version so don't get rid of my original right and I'm gonna delete layers 1 and I'm gonna delete layer 2 okay alright and so I've deleted layers 1 and 2 so my animation should go from layer 3 to 16 and what we need to do now is select here and say make frames from layers and when I do that I should have a 14 layer animation and I do so now I just hit play and and the animation looks pretty good once again sometimes the order of these layers is very important and you might have some redundant layers and images and you want to make sure I'm gonna stop this you want to make sure that when your animation loops from 16 okay back to 1 back to 1 that the animation is correct and in this case when I go from 16 to 1 the animation is correct okay so turn those off turn this on and you can see that a problem that's happened here is I'm on layer 6 and now if I hit play there's a problem in the animation it's like the animation has it gets tweaked if you start playing with your layers when you're doing this animation process so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stop this and I'm going to delete the animation right it's all gone and then I'll just do it one more time I'll turn on all my layer eyeballs here 3 to 16 and I'll say make frames from layers right here and it'll match it across and I'll have a nice animation to work with okay so now once the animation is in place I can um, I can change my animation I'll see I'm gonna change it I'm gonna play it it's moving a little bit fast what I could do is I could slow it down by changing each frame to 0.1 seconds so I'll do that so I've changed each frame to 0.1 seconds and now I just need to export my my animation and you can see here that there's no place to save your animation here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say file and I could export no I'm gonna do a file save as and I'll save it as a GIF and it says that if I want to do this I must do it a file save a copy file how about save save for web and devices let's try that and change it to GIF and there should be a way to save it as an animation in the GIF and sure enough there is if you scroll down here to the bottom you'll see here that animation is a choice looping forever right and you can even play it here to get a sense of it right that looks pretty good and I'll hit save and on my desktop I'll save it as baboon walk dot gif hit save so now it's been saved to my desktop I should be able to bring it up there it is open it up in a window in a browser and there it is animated right in my browser there's an animated GIF <laughs>